get asked if I need one today. Hey, it's Micah. Uh, I'm here with Taylor. She's over there. Fine. Okay. So, it's story time. <sighs> so, this happened like right after, right, like right after we got out of school for winter break. So, it was like December 15th or 16th. I don't know. Whenever we got out. So it's like close to Christmas, you know, it's like five days away from Christmas. It wasn't the 15th. Um, anyway, so we're sitting there and I'm at the pool with my friend Lindsay. Y'all know Lindsay. This is yes. Um, so me and Lindsay, if you haven't met Lindsay, you don't know about Lindsay, you're going to hear about her and you're going to get used to her. We're at the hot tub and it's hot as like mosquito bites over here like it's crazy in texas um it was like 80 degrees so we went swimming and stuff it was it was a good time um so we're just wrapping up or they're like okay we're about bored and want to go home and this guy this guy walked past and he was like have y'all seen this long hair blonde caucasian person walk past and the entire time i'm thinking it's a guy i'm like there's a guy I ain't gonna miss no long blonde hair boy. Like, you just don't miss that. You, you know, you don't miss it. Um, anyway. So, and then he tells us it's his daughter, and we're like, oh. Okay, so, he was like, so my daughter is, um, was at a party, like, hanging out, like, a sleepover kind of thing with her friend, and they are just, like, she doesn't know what happened, but she could have been doing drugs or something, Anyway, she started vomiting and she ran out the house. Now, she does not live in this neighborhood. And it was kind of scary because, like, if you don't live in this neighborhood, it's dark. It's, like, almost 9 o'clock. So, it's dark. And she was, like, freaking out. Like, he was freaking out. And we're like, oh, okay, we haven't seen her, but we're going to um, we're gonna try to help. And he's like, you don't have to do that. And he was like, we're like, yeah, we're going to help you. So... We, um, we got out the pool, and he didn't know that we were helping, like, he left, um, and we started walking around, and then we saw him again, and we were like, hey, we're gonna help look for him, um, and then, like, the entire time as he's showing me, like, a photo on his phone about the girl, I was like, wow, she is hot. So, we're sitting there, and we're looking at this girl, and then we go, okay, we're gonna look for her, and then he gives us his phone number, but he was, like, speaking so fast, and he was in a rush. I mean, I totally get it. He, like, he's worried about his daughter. He says that he grabbed the wrong phone. He grabbed his wife's phone and said his phone. I don't know why they look the same. We got the wrong number because he said it so fast. It was like, hey, there is. Um, so we're walking around, and Lindsay, Lindsay, my friend who was at the house, she decided to name the girl. Because she was like, I don't know her name, but she looked like an Elizabeth. And we are like, okay, Elizabeth. So, um, she goes, Elizabeth! And I was like, she hear you, she ain't coming out. So then we walked back to like the pool area because I left something. Of course, I left something. I always leave something. And this girl said, I'm ready to go home. And I said, We gotta go do another lap. We'll act like we actually looked, okay? So we walking around and we go, there's another pool in my neighborhood, by the way. So we go to the other pool and we do, we've gone like a lap around there already. By Bro, just keep going. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're walking by the pool and the other pool, and I said, okay, let's turn this way this side. And we start walking over there, and we see these people, and we're like, oh, we're gonna try to like, I'll see people. Hey, have you seen a girl? She's long blonde. She has blue eyes. Um, she's about fifteen-ish. Um, we, we need your help. Boy, we need to find this girl. And they're like, we, we haven't seen her. Um, we haven't. I said she's been throwing up. Have you heard anyone throwing up? Like, no, we haven't heard anyone throwing up. Two feet away from them was a girl laying on the ground throwing up. I run to the girl, I'm like, ah, we found her. And then she was like, oh, come so we see the girl and the girl's like, help me, help, 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 help me, help, 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 help me, help, help, help me. Yeah, she's cursing. It was great. Um, we, we, we asked her, we said, what'd you take? What's going on? She goes, I took acid, acid, acid. Call, call the police, call the police. And at first I thought she kept saying, don't call the police. And I was like, don't worry, we ain't calling the police. We're going to call your mom. Where she at? Think about this though. The police, we had called the cops like when she first went missing. Now this is like already 20 minutes in and the cops never showed up. So there goes your legal system right there. That's all I have to say. Um, so anyway, so she's like, call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. So I call the cops. I'm like, hey, y'all, how you doing? Um, so there's a girl that's in an accident. There's an accident, like she's on the floor. Like, I don't know what to do, okay? They were like, what kind of accident? What kind of car was it? I was like, she ain't that big. Oh, 
Oh, you talk, okay. Anyway, the girl, the girl, she did drugs. We need a paramedic here, like, now, and she's going unresponsive. Like, she's not responding to what we're saying. But, like, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear, blank one, like, she didn't do any of that. She was, like, sitting there. And when that woman was, like, okay, we're on our way. I did not know the address to my neighborhood, y'all. I did not know where we were. Lindsay grabbed the phone. She said, I'll grab it. I'll do it. Paramedics finally get there. Like five minutes later, it was it was pretty fast, and um, other people are walking past, and I just like. Now this girl, she is she's blonde, and Lindsay left because Lindsay had to go like talk to the paramedics, right? She's not wearing a shirt. She's in the sports bra. She I, I grab her hand because like she was unresponsive. I was like, you are not about to die on me. So <laughs> we sit in there, and I'm like, you're not about to die on me. I grab her hand, and she like put her hand on her boob, and I was like, okay. And then at the room, she was 15, and I can't do that. So, it, ah, it burns! Okay, back to the story. Never mind. And the paramedics come, and they're like, where is she? And we're like, um, right here. No, on the floor, right? I don't think you can miss her. But and my mom was like, she's on the floor, cold! I'm like, girl, it is 80 degrees. She is not cold. And the mama take off her shirt. i never seen so many boobies at one time. It was crazy, okay? So, sitting there... And she took her shirt off and she put on her daughter. This is Mama, the girl Mama. Oh my goodness, Abigail! And I go, Abigail? I thought it was Elizabeth. We've been calling her Elizabeth. No wonder the girl didn't respond to us. Like, Elizabeth, are you okay? Elizabeth, blink twice. Elizabeth? <laughs> and Elizabeth, uh, Abigail was looking at us like... So... Basically, when the paramedics get there, they're like, Where is she? And we're like, she's on the floor. She's right there. You can't miss her. And the, the girl... Um, they're like, so what happened? I was like, she took acid and she took too many and I think she's starting to OD. Her heart is like beating like really, really, really fast and she's unresponsive now. And they go, how many shots did she take? And I was like, I don't know. And they were like, um, well, you were there, right? And I was like, no, I'm a Christian young lady. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay. So, and Lindsay was like, yeah, we don't do drugs. And I was like, and then we did like a high five. Oh, can we do it? Um, they're like, how many shots? We need to know, like, what was going on and, like, what happened. And we're like, we don't know. We weren't there. Like, like aren't you her friends? And we're like, we don't even know this girl. And, um, <clears throat> no, Lindsay told me this, and I would let her tell you, but she ain't here. She at McDonald's. Um, but she was like, after you left, because I went to left to go get the amp on, like, the paramedics and stuff, and she started talking to the girl. <clears throat> now, the girl was, like, real chill with me, but with Lindsay, apparently, when Lindsay tried to hold her hand, she slapped it. And Lindsay was like, I'm about to fight her. <laughs> I don't care if you're unresponsive or not. You're about to get hit because ain't nobody hitting me. <laughs> and it was, it was so funny. And I was like, girl, you need to stop. And so the paramedics come and they take the girl. Now tell me why me and Lindsay don't even get a thank you. I'm going to thank you. I'm going to thank you. I'm going to wear it. I get a gift card or something. Like I just saved your daughter's life. No, I mean nothing. Okay. But really, the moral of the story is that Mike and Marine is not only a singer, actor, songwriter, playwright, like all this amazing stuff, but now he's a hero. A hero. A hero. A hero. I'm saving young lives. Gotta remember me when I'm gone and be like, he was a hero. Like, he, he did all his charity work and he went out and he sung for old people. I did that and I'm like, that's Mike and Holiday Session. And, like, I need y'all to remember me because, like, I did a lot of hard stuff. I saved somebody's life, even though I walked around, touched the boob, and you know what, Abigail, if you watching this, hit me up. Me is sitting there. I'm pretty. All right, guys, so this has been another episode of Story Time, and there's going to be a lot more to come. This is like the first episode. I don't know why I said another episode. Okay, y'all, so that is our story. This is the beautiful Lindsay that you saw on the vote. And of course, Rodeo. <laughs> Um, that you saw at the beginning of the film. Um, do you have any more comments? You, 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 you made, um, made it all I really have to say is don't do drugs because you're going to end up like Elizabeth. Wait, can we Abigail, start? Abigail, Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Caitlyn Jenner all over again. Yeah, but just don't do drugs. No. And you shouldn't end up on the floor half naked. Okay. Yeah, um, 
Don't don't wear a sports bra if you're gonna be doing drugs because your mom will go out to come take her clothes off and that's nasty. It's very important just while you're young, have fun. My motto is you can have fun, you can do whatever you want, just to the point where you don't get arrested. And I think I have the most fun and I don't get arrested. So there's a lot of things to do out there that's clean. And you I mean you can do this stuff, just don't do get caught. <laughs> that's about it. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the first time Abigail had been doing um, Abigail, Elizabeth, y'all. We need to start a trend for her. You know, every, Abigail, Elizabeth. Y'all yeah. see Abigail, if y'all friends with Abigail. She live in this area, so most of y'all might know her. Um, she may be in rehab now. She <laughs> needs to be in rehab. but um. She need to be grounded to the rest of her life. I hope she grounded. It. We need to like send her a gift basket. No, they ain't even send us a gift basket. Badass little girl. Yeah, they didn't even thank us. Let okay, me tell you. Okay, we just saved your daughter's life. At least you could do is say, "Oh, thank y'all." And then they would be like, "Oh, honey, you are amazing, and I love you, and thank you." Well, that, that's all I wanted. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's all we wanted to hear. We didn't get none of that. They just left without saying. Oh, thanks for you know possibly saving my daughter's life. Oh, you know, no, no problem, Bob. You know, anything for Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Elizabeth, and we gonna keep you in our prayers. Mm-hmm. Badass little girl. We shouldn't see you again. Well, actually, you need to hit me up. So, um, thank y'all. Thank y'all for a wonderful episode. Here are some bloopers. Gone like a lap around there already. But I said, let's do it. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> I was going to do another lap um, around that part. Rodeo! Do you mind getting off my shot? Okay. Consistent. Okay, go over there. Anyhow, so. Bro, just keep going. <laughs> so, so, like, it's fine because I got my food too. <laughs> so, there goes my bed now. Okay, anywho, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, I just hit him on the nose. Anywho, this is not gonna be the moment when somebody. Di <laughs> Die home. I'm gonna eat on camera. Turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the story. Never mind. Answer the phone. You gotta go answer the phone. I'm not answering the phone. If they I'm really, sure. if they really want me to go call my, my cell phone. Like, bro, I should gonna go answer my phone in my house. Yeah, how about that? How about the cell phone? This I ran. Anyhow, um, hello. Hello. Who was that? Who was that? Mm. I didn't even see. I just kind of. That was the it. Texas State. I don't know who that is. Hi, guys. It's me up close and personal. Anyway, so thank you for watching this. And I'm actually really excited for the second season of Are You Ready? I hope you guys are too. And are happy with what's new and what's coming and next week. There will be a new story time. Um, I have a pretty crazy life, so I'll try to update these more often as usual. Thank you guys so much.